In this step, we are going to add a text field to allow users to filter the grid we added in the previous step. Start by adding a new text field in the UI class. And set a placeholder. Unlike the caption, which is rendered next to the field, the placeholder is shown inside it, which is a good idea for this filter. We need to react to changes in the filter. We do this by adding a value change listener, which is a functional interface that allows us to use a lambda expression here. Now this E stands for event, the value change event. We are not using it here. We just need to update the grid by calling the update list method that we created in the previous step. We can also configure when and how often the value change event is sent from the client to the server. There are several modes. We are going to use lazy, which fires the event when there is a short pause in the typing. So we have the filter ready, but the update list method still fetches all the customers. Conveniently, the service class overloads the find all method so that we can pass a filter string, which is wherever the user typed in the text field. And as you might have already guessed, there is a get value method for that. All right, we haven't added the filter to the layout yet. Only the grid is visible at this point. But before adding it, let's create a button to clear the filter. We could specify a caption here, but let's use an icon instead. Vadin comes with a lot of icons you can use. You can see them all at vadin.com slash icons, where you can also search for something specific. For example, delete. Let's use this one here, close. So we just have to use the same here, close. And let's add a description as well. This is rendered as a tooltip when the mouse pointer is over the button. We also need to react to clicks on this button. We can do it by adding a click listener, another functional interface, so that we can use a lambda expression again to simply clear the value in the text field. Now, what we want to do is to have the text field and the button aligned horizontally. And we could perfectly use a horizontal layout, but to make it look even cooler, let's use a CSS layout. This allows us to use some predefined CSS styles to make the text field and the button look like if they were one component. You'll see it in a minute. But first, let's call this filtering, and let's add the filter text field and clear filter text button. Now we can add the CSS styles I mentioned before by using the set style name method and passing the value theme dot layout component group string. This is just a name of a CSS class that comes with Vadin. You could define your own if you wanted. Right, finally, we can add the filtering composition to the main layout. Save the file, restart the server, or wait for it to restart itself, and jump to the browser. Refresh, and there you go. It looks like if the button was inside the text field, which is pretty cool. Let's type something here. The grid shows the matches, this button shows the description, and I can clear the filter by clicking it. And this is how you can add a filter using Vadin. In the next step, we are going to create a form to allow users edit customers.